Next on our agenda, calculating Tesla's automotive gross profit. What portion of automotive revenues become margin after the company takes production expenses into consideration? Given that we forecasted revenues for six different vehicle types, it would make sense to work with a separate gross profit percentage for each of them. We can't expect Model 3 and Tesla Roadster 2 to have the same gross profit margin. So far, our valuation has been quite detailed. It would be a shame to consider an average gross profit percentage and apply it to all model types. Instead, we could estimate a reasonable gross profit margin for each model, based on the margin of similar vehicles sold on the market. For each model type, I've considered the gross profit margin of three comparable companies. Of course, it would be preferable to select specific models these companies sell, but such information is not available to outsiders. So, in Tesla Model 3's case, the three comparable companies are GM, Ford, and Fiat Chrysler. I've considered their gross profit margins as reported in their financial statements and taken the average. See? Tesla Model S and Model X vehicles are a bit more luxurious and are positioned as premium style cars, and hence I've compared them to the three German Mastodons in the auto industry, BMW, Mercedes-Benz, and Volkswagen. The average gross profit percentage is a little over 19%, compared to 12.4% for Model 3's group. Such attention to detail gives our model more depth and stability. I follow the same approach for the rest of the models in this table, adjusting comparable firms and taking data from financial statements. In our next lesson, we'll apply these gross profit percentages to Tesla's revenues to obtain total automotive gross profit figures in absolute terms. This will do for now. Thanks for watching.